Hey guys, Dr. Ed here with your healthy video thought of the week. I'm headed out to do my workout today, and in my workout I'm probably going to do a little, little more than 100 pull-ups today. And I don't expect anybody to start off by doing 100 pull-ups, but a pull-up is a great exercise. So I want you to tag along with me today. When I get over to the box, I'll show you how to do different variations of pull-ups, whether it's a full body weight pull-up or whether it's an assisted pull-up. There's lots of different ways that you can do that that makes it easier on you and gives you ways to get started to do, to do that. So tag along with me, and when I get over to the box, I'll talk to you again. Hey guys, I'm ready to get, get started showing you how to do these different pull-ups. I'm going to throw, show you three different progressions on how you can do them. One, I'm going to be standing on a box, but when you do these at home, you can stand on a chair, and obviously you'll be using your legs along with your arms. This is a really beginner move, but that's where I had to start when I started learning pull-ups. The next move will be using some gymnastic rings. Uh, relatively easy to get anywhere on the internet. You can just Google gymnastic rings and they can hang over the pull-up bar and what you'll end up doing with those is a ring row is what it's called. Uh, but it's the next progression off of the, off of the chair uh, for your pull-ups. And with the gymnastic rings and doing your ring row, the more vertical you are, the easier it is for the pull-up. So as you go lower and lower with the rings to where you're more horizontal doing the pull, it gets more body weight involved. So that's how you progress to get stronger with those. And then the final progression that I'll show you is just a straight, strict body weight pull-up so that you can see the different moves that we do. So let me hop up on the box and you'll see the first progression, which is standing on a chair using your legs while you're doing the pull. When you get up here, just good grip on the bar, lower your legs, pull as much as you can with your hands and arms, but use your legs as you have to. If it's more of a stand and then jump, that's fine as well. But this is, the, this is where you want to start, using your legs and pulling at the same time. Pretty simple little procedure there. Let's move down to the rings. I've got the rings hanging from our pull-up bar here. Like I said, you can get these anywhere on the internet. For right now, just kind of lean back just a little bit. The more you lean back, the harder it gets. But it's just a pull-up right like that. Keeping your body nice and straight while you're doing it. The final progression is just a dead body weight pull up. Jump up, up on the bar for this. And as the name implies, pull up. Obviously, to make it a full rep, you gotta make sure your chin gets over the bar. If it doesn't get over the bar, it's not a full rep. So there's your progressions with the pull ups. I'm getting ready to get my workout started now. Over 100 pull-ups for me today. I'll be tired at the end of it, so it's going to be a good day. Thanks for watching the Healthy Video Thought of the Week, and we'll see you next week.